Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm a uh, practicing Jedi now for uh, three years coming up this February. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick tip. So just take a coffee lid like this, put it so that it balances on a branch and uh, Think about the Kaibalan or the Kabillion, which is the seven hermetic principles. One of those principles is polarity, um, opposite poles. Um, the other one is, there's, there's seven of them, but the other one is rhythm. So I want you to think about bouncing a ball, boink, boink, like that game. I don't know if, if you ever... Uh, played that game where there's like this little dot that goes that bounces off the screen comes down and you got a little thing that's going back and forth anyways you want to think about polarity so negative and positive hot and cold male and female that kind of thing yin and yang um, you want to create tension between that um, so you want to split your consciousness basically some of it here and some of it here maybe some of it back here some of it right there some of it out in front and you can like anchor these points in your consciousness and then within this it's basically a thought form that you've created um, you now have a geometry to play with inside, right? So you can either do a sphere, but if you do a box, then you have points, very specific points, and you can create tension between those points. So what I want you to do now is to kind of go from one end of the box to the other end of the box, maybe along the edges, right? or even through the box from corner to corner. But by basically bouncing your attention back and forth like this, you're creating a rhythm. Now, if you speed up that rhythm, what'll happen is your vibration will increase. And so you can practice speeding up the vibration until it matches basically the environment that you're in in order to move it and this way progressively and systematically you can begin to start to feel the increase or the decrease of your vibration and this puts you in the driver's seat this puts you your conscious mind consciously saying okay I'm going at boom 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 well, imagine uh, in music there's that tempo machine, right? The uh, metronome. So 60 cycles per second or whatever. Um, what you're trying to do is gradually increase that until you start to feel the energy building, right? Maybe, there, maybe what you feel is excitement. Maybe it's anticipation, expectation, hope, right? Well, one of these things, but you'll start to feel it in your body. You'll start to feel it in your aura. Because where attention, uh, where attention goes, they say energy flows, okay? It's a real simple saying, but it's so true. Okay, so when I came here, I couldn't connect to anything. So if you carry this around with you, anytime you're around a tree, you can just hang it basically anywhere, right? At any level. You don't have to tie it, you just hang it. And then, <clears throat> and then you create a box. Maybe it's the size of this, right? Maybe the box is real small, or maybe it's a much bigger box. But what you wanna practice is this idea of creating these points of tension 
which creates a geometry of, of uh, a geometry of thought form and you're expressing that before anything happens you're putting your intent out there and if you were to focus on it long enough um, your attention would begin to coalesce and it would form something whatever you're visualizing it would begin to form until you saw it right until you could reach out and touch it so in a way telekinesis is the training for higher level stuff like manifestation all right so again create a thought form of like a box a six with six faces bottom top sides here and here and then with all those points in mind begin to switch your attention from one to the other and actually imagine that there's like a line of energy or a line of attention and when you get there imagine like you're smacking a drum Boom. then bring it up Boom. okay now increase that speed so you could be like boom 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 until it reaches the frequency right that then allows you to interact with the object and by having something like this, it's super lightweight, so if there's any breeze, um, it will begin to affect it. So it gives you great feedback. All right, I'm going to shorten this video. Um, this is The Guardian signing off. Thank you so much.